We're standing up for property rights. I'm standing up for my property rights. So you can find me, you can put me in jail, but I still will not give up my property rights. I will not comply and sign, check your box. You will not get a year's access to my property. It'll have to be forced 100%. You will have to violate my rights to get it. I am not giving them to you. End of the line, I guess there, guys. You're going for a little walk. Found us a gate. Sign says private property. You know, there's nobody out here. Probably nobody would ever catch us going across that gate. But it's his private property, so let's respect that. We're on a huge chunk of public land out here. But to get back here, because our land doesn't border public land, we're surrounded by some privates before all of this public land. So before we headed out here, I asked my neighbor, called and asked him if we could cut through his property, because his property butts the, the state land, um, just to get his permission, because we respect his private property rights. Simple concept. Oh, he said yeah, by the way. As we're out here on this walkabout, uh, got a new chest rig, guys. Had to pay for it, it wasn't sent to me, unfortunately. But uh, got this new chest rig we're gonna try out, this thing I got specifically for hiking. It's pretty cool, it mounts your, you know, mounts your pistol right to your chest. Real convenient draw. Uh, so far, pretty dang comfortable. Um, we've only been out here about an hour but I'm liking it, it's not moving, it's not rubbing. Stays right where you want it. This would be nice to have a jacket over. That's newer too. That was sent to me by, or given to me by Dave from Imagine Acre Wood, hooking me up with a little pipe. A little corn cob something. I've always grown up out in the woods uh, ever since I was little, as far as I could remember, my old man was taking me hunting. Going camping with the family. I uh, grew up out here. So it's nice to get out, go for a walk, and enjoy everything. But I do it less, it seems, since we, uh, since we moved off grid and started homesteading, since we're kind of living in the woods. You know, the woods were always a break away from the mundane, you know, from your normal life. It was always getting out and getting away from everything. Which is pretty cool, because I think that that's what reminds us uh, most people of freedom, you know, they're getting away from their job, getting away from the bills, getting away from all of the constraints of society and getting out where it's still free. No one can bother you. Not really. But you're out experiencing the pinnacle of freedom, basically. You know, you get to walk in thousands and thousands of acres of wood. You can get lost for miles and miles to where you won't see anyone for hours, days, weeks at a time. Seems like that freedom is being chipped away at more and more. Um, luckily in this state, state of Idaho, you're not required to get permits uh, to go and enter into the woods. In certain states, uh, they do require you to buy a permit uh, to enter into the woods. These are public lands, we the people lands. Uh, and the government applies permits to them, you know, in some places, and it's just to generate revenue and so that they can make more money. And unfortunately, we the people allow that kind of stuff. You know, you see some states that are just crippled by regulation. You know, California, people are fleeing it like the plague. They're, uh, they're leaving because they're just tired of the restrictions. They're tired of the fees, the fines, the permits basically tired of the government controlling absolutely every detail of their lives. And they're going to more freer areas. One of those areas that a lot of people seek out a refuge, if you will, is Idaho. The great state of Idaho is looked at as one of the freest states in the union still. 
And that's true, I would agree with that for the most part. But for those of us that grew up in this area and aren't coming from an area that's been restricted, uh, we see it as the freedoms are getting chipped away at. We see it as our liberties are being controlled little bits at a time, you know, tiny little bites, little bites, little bites over years and years and years. You know, we went from being absolutely free people and having our rights, our natural rights, 240 some years ago, declaring our independence from a tyrannical government to, now we're giving them away at every election. The wrong kinds of people are leading this country and they're taking it right back to what it was, you know, over in England when it was under a king's rule. These were the king's woods. So unfortunately, we're trading one tyrant for thousands of tyrants in government today, local, state, federal. You know, everyone's trying to get control trying to apply permits, trying to generate revenue. You know, and they're a, they're a corporation that doesn't create anything. So the only way they can do it is by taking, stealing, extorting, taxing, uh, which is theft. There's a lot of great things in society that are paid for with your tax money. Uh, lots of great services, paying lots of great people to do great things, but unfortunately, when government gets too big and too controlling and that ruling class becomes entitled and they think that they're above you and they forget that they're working for you, they start to come after you at every turn and they use their resources, our resources, to try and penalize us, to come after us, to bankrupt us, to steal our land, to steal our assets. And it's happening more and more And one of the biggest problems with it is that we, the people, we sit back and we look at what's happening to someone on TV and because we don't know that person, we don't care. And we sit back and we hear about it happening to someone in our community, but we don't know that person in our community, so we don't care. We've pulled ourselves out of that community because we just want to be left alone because we don't like the way the community's going. And guys, pulling yourselves out of the community and hiding no longer works, unfortunately. Or I guess fortunately, because it's time to, it's time to change the way things are done before we lose it all. So what you used to be able to do is go buy yourself a nice chunk of land and just leave society alone do your own thing on that land and not be bothered. But unfortunately today, we have people in government, specifically in the Bonner County government, local government here in Idaho, they want to use drones. You got the director of the planning and zoning, he's in favor of the use of drones. He's also in favor of using Google Earth to try and check your check your property you know some people go and they get so remote into property and the government knows they have no ability to enforce anything on them no ability to get into their property no ability to peek no ability to spy neighbors don't have the ability to turn you in so what they do is they use satellites to be able to look into your property to try and violate something that you might be doing wrong in the privacy of your own little nook and cranny in the world your last piece of property, your last piece of freedom. And they use that to come after you. You know, they forget that we're fellow statesmen, fellow countrymen, neighbors in an area, a part of the community, friends of relatives. And they do it for a paycheck. They do it for their own personal greed, their own personal gain. They come after you. They try to take stuff from you. It's not done with any moral values whatsoever. Anyone who's willing to take, steal from a neighbor or put a neighbor in a jail cell for committing no crime whatsoever 
the violation of their codes, which they use to extort money. It's not about safety. They like to pretend it's about safety, it's about quality in the community. They don't care about their community. They care about a paycheck. I don't know why I'm deciding to climb a hill and talk to the camera, it's getting hard. But they go after normal families, normal citizens who harmed no one because they want something from them. They want their money or they want power. In our case, they want power. They want access to our property. And we're not giving it to them. And they don't like it, so what do they do? They keep threatening us to steal money from us. They keep threatening us to put us in jail. You guys have watched our channel for over two years now. And I doubt you've seen a single video or a single characteristic about us that warrants putting us in a jail cell. So here it is guys, our uh, latest letter from the prosecuting attorney's office.